My mama always said tech news is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I mean, you're not gonna get chocolate. So I think we can yeah. we can cross that out pretty safe. I mean, oh, chocolate. chocolate technology. Things are looking good for Intel in the processor space, but for AMD, they are looking even, well, not better than Intel, but like better than AMD's previous best. You know, it's like, it's like the kid who never wins the race, but like always does a little better. So the two companies both published their second quarter earnings from 2018. And while Intel did beat their expectations, AMD had its highest Q2 in seven years. Years. Now, despite decent growth, Intel shares dropped following the news with some analysts concerned that their chips are still stuck on the 14 nanometer process. And Intel said that it won't have 10 nanometer silicon in consumer machines until holiday 2019 and servers in 2020. And then meanwhile, AMD is gonna have seven nanometer Epic server processors next year with seven nanometer Ryzen desktop chips coming shortly after that. CEO Lisa Su even said that they're already starting work on their five nanometer process chips. And while the size of the process isn't everything, I mean, it does matter. And so does hyperthreading. I think I might be about to join Team Red. I'm even wearing a red shirt today, baby. Whoa. Samsung's next flagship phone, the Galaxy X, will reportedly be a gaming phone, meant to compete with recently released devices from companies like Razer and Asus. And if it is, then it would be smart of Samsung to build it using their unbreakable display. The company showed off a video showing a display made using an unbreakable substrate and a new type of plastic that doesn't crack when it's bent. The woman in the video takes out a little rage on the display with a hammer, but it is apparently undamaged from this vicious assault. Though there's no guarantee that doing this to an actual phone wouldn't screw up something else. It's just, you know, the outside would remain flawless. You'd have a, you'd have a beautiful brick, just like me. I, wo I woke up like this. And right after Apple released a fix for the 2018 MacBook Pro's thermal throttling, another issue has popped up. Although, in fairness to Apple, it seems relatively smaller in scope. Owners of 2018 MacBooks and 2017 iMac Pros are reporting kernel panics. Oh, my kernel, no, not, not the chicken. <gasps> Which is kind of like the Mac OS. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. A kernel panic is like the Mac OS version of Windows's blue screen of death. Now it is believed that the issue may have something to do with the T2 chip found only in those two machines. It enables Bridge OS, which runs some under the hood features in Mac OS like secure boot, encrypted storage, and the Hey Siri commands. Now the number of users affected seems small right now, but everyone's talking about it, including me. So, hey, maybe it might be good to actually fix that, you know? Mm. Now it's time for some, uh, Little nuggets of news, fried up quickly. Ah! Brought to you by Honey, a free Chrome browser extension that saves you money. How much money? Well, those of you who have downloaded Honey using the Linus Tech Tips link have collectively saved over $70,000 in the last few months alone. Wow, really? That's pretty cool. That's an average of $27 per person. Honey works on over 30,000 sites, including Amazon, eBay, Newegg, Razor, Walmart, and more, and there's no catch. It costs you no money. In fact, it does just the opposite. It saves you money. So check out the link in the description and add Honey to your browser and your chicken nuggets today. Seriously, honey chicken mustard. McNuggets with Honey. No, not Honey Mustard. Oh. If you ask for it, you can get Honey from McDonald's, even still. It's really good with the chicken nuggets. I don't, I don't want that. Sweet and salty, baby. On to the quick boots. Uh, Lenovo and Google. Almost. Did you know I was wearing boots no, today? I didn't know you were that's fantastic. I'm actually, I, I rode here. See, I got boots. boots. Okay. Lenovo and Google have unveiled the Lenovo Smart Display. Essentially an Amazon Echo Show, but with Google Assistant instead of Alexa. So you can do, well, you can do all the things that you already do with Google Assistant, but now it's in a stationary thing that plugs into the wall instead of your phone, which, uh, Nintendo has revealed the vehicle kit for Labo. It adds controls and mini games for a car, plane, and submarine, a cardboard submarine. Yeah. Wow, Nintendo. Now all we need is a train and then we're set. I've always wanted to blow a whistle. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Woo! You know, poop. Fake goes. whistle. Got my fake whistle here. Nobody photoshopped this. 
Robots with two arms and two legs are so boring. So the Italian Institute of Technology, or as I call it, the IIT, are developing Centauro, a robot with four legs on wheels along with two arms. It's intended for disaster relief scenarios so it can pick up stuff, chop wood or human limbs in half. And uh, you know, that would be so cool. It's like the future of warfare. It's like Chronicles of Narnia, but like robots. It honestly looks kind of terrifying. Speaking of disaster relief, Apple is showing it has a heart after all, and is offering free repairs to iPhone, iPad, and Mac owners in Japan who have been affected by devastating floods. So way to go, Apple. You wanted some cost-effective PR and you got it. Go Apple. And Origin has set a date and prices for its Origin Access Premier game subscription service. Oh boy, it's happening. It launches July 30th and will give you access to all EA games five days before they launch so you can experience all the pre-launch bugs that reviewers get too. <laughs> I'm so excited, you're all gonna join the club and it's gonna cost you just 15 bucks a month or $100 a year. This actually kind of seems to make sense if you know you're gonna buy two or more EA games a year, which if you're a sports fan, you know you are. But then you stop paying but, and they go away. Then, but then you stop paying and they go away. So your game library won't look as, you know, lit. You know, I'm, I'm, no, I'm doing away with lit. lit. Okay. Let's go like heavy. Won't look as heavy as mine. Heavy's, yeah. heavy's cool. Anyway, that's it for Tech Links, my pals. Like the video and I'll like yours. Actually, I'm not gonna, I got, I got shit to do. Then uh, you can, if you hate this video, you can hit the dislike button, subscribe. You know what, I, I'm done with this outro. I, 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 I just said I've got, I've got, like I've got stuff to do. It's a good video. No, 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 I'm not liking any secret informants. <laughs> Spies!